The White Walkers in Game of Thrones, or the others in the book's source material, acted as the ultimate, unstoppable evil. While a power struggle was going on in Westeros, the frosty northern creatures were preparing a plan for the total destruction of humanity. The White Walkers created their own kind from human babies through a special ritual. They were able to revive dead people and turn them into ferocious zombies without pain or fear. And the leader of the White Walkers in the series was the Night King, the most important, the first among them, to whom the general army obeyed. The origin and identity of the Night King is an interesting question, because his story in the TV series and books is very different. Today I will talk about the different version of the Night King, and you can choose which one is closer and more interesting to you. Let's begin. The Night King, according to George R. Martin's version in the books. As I said above, the book version of this character is very different from the series version. In George R. R. Martin's version, the Night King is a semi-mythical character in the fairy tales and scary stories that are told throughout the North. According to these tales, the Night King was human and came from one of the houses of the North. Depending on which castle his story is told, the Night King is attributed to the Boltons, the Ambers, the Flints and the Woodfoots. There is also a widespread version that he was a Stark, that's what Ned Stark's children believed, who were told the story of the Night King by their nanny. According to the legends, this man served in the Night's Watch and was its Lord Commander. He was a very stern man and had absolutely no fear. So when one day he saw a beautiful woman beyond the wall, he chased after her, caught up with her and took her. But this woman was not an easy one. She was as cold as ice, her skin was snow white, and her eyes glowed with blue fire. After spending the night with her, the Lord Commander gave her his soul. He took her with him to the Night's Watch, and told everyone that from now on he was the king, and she was his wife, the queen. Thanks to the magic of the mysterious woman, the Night King subjugated all the members of the Night's Watch, and they could not cross him. On his wife's orders, he began to sacrifice to the others, White Walkers, and perform strange rituals. This went on for thirteen years. Eventually, Brandon Stark, the Crusher, rumoured to be the Night King's own brother, learned of the situation at the Wall. Brandon joined forces with the Wildlings, forming an alliance with King Beyond the Wall Joraman. Together they were able to defeat the Night King and free the Night's Watch from his spell. Since then, no one has heard anything about the Night King, because Brandon Stark ordered any mention of him erased from the annals, and the others in the books have no specific leader. However, in the TV series, this character has a very different story. In the series, the Night King is the leader of the White Walker army, who lives and acts during the unfolding events. Outwardly, he differs from the other White Walkers. On his head he has visible bone growths in the form of a crown, emphasizing his status as a leader. Once upon a time, many thousands of years ago, even before the events of the book Night King, he too was a man of the First Men. The first men who came to Westeros began to fight the children of the forest, the original inhabitants of the continent. Losing the children of the forest took a desperate step. Using magic, they created the White Walkers. They performed a ritual on a captured human and turned him into the first walker. It was he who later became the Night King. At first, the Night King and the other walkers did help the children of the forest, but then turned against their creators and the humans kept getting hurt by them. Then the children of the forest made peace with the first men, united, and together defeated the Night King. However, he was not destroyed and hid in the far north. Over the millennia, his existence blurred in the memory of people. But by the events of the series, the Night King, along with his tribesmen, woke up to complete what he had started, to destroy all life on the continent. And now, the Night King, according to the fans. But also throughout the series, fans had theories about the origin of the Night King. In my opinion, they are interesting and worthy of attention, at least two of them. The first version. The Night King is Bran Stark. Bran had the ability to travel back in time, and he was also a warg capable of entering the minds of other beings, including humans. During one of his mental time travels, Bran travelled back to the day the children of the forest made the Night King. He tried to talk them out of it, but when that failed, it was as if he had become possessed by the man the children of the forest were performing the ritual on. 
When the man was stabbed in the chest with an obsidian blade, Bran flinched in pain, indicating that he had indeed possessed the man. If that's the case, we can conclude that the Night King is Bran Stark, or at least one version of his personality, the second version. The Night King is a Targaryen. This version is less slender, but there were several arguments in its favour as well. The Night King was able to ride a dragon, albeit a dead one, and this can only be done by people with dragon blood, leading their lineage from ancient Valyria. The Night King did not burn in the dragon's fire. It was believed that Targaryens were not afraid of fire, and Daenerys once confirmed this by example. The Night King avoided a direct confrontation with Jon Snow, who was actually a Targaryen. Perhaps he just didn't want to hurt his distant relative. And by the way, these two versions, that the Night King is Bran or Targaryen, come together nicely. The Night King could have been both Bran and Targaryen at the same time. Many fans believe that Bran himself lost his identity, and his place was taken by the Three-Eyed Raven. And the Three-Eyed Raven is Brynden Rivers, the bastard of House Targaryen. And if Bran Brynden became the consciousness of the first White Walker, he became both Bran and Targaryen at the same time. These are such complicated and twisted versions. And what version do you find the most interesting? Share in the comments. The